أول خطوة هي وضع الفروض The first step is the statement of hypotheses The edge note indicates that the results of the treatment with the new cream are equal to those of treatment with the old cream while the alternative hypothesis indicates that results of treatment with the new cream are not equal to those of treatment with the old cream. The chi-square test is a two-tailed as shown by the above stated hypotheses. If we look to the alternate hypothesis we'll find this sign which is a characteristic sign for the two-tailed hypotheses. فرد العدم سيدل على أن نتائج علاج الكريم الجديد هي مساوية لنتائج العلاج للكريم التقليدي أو الكريم القديم بينما الفرد البديل سيدل على أن نتائج العلاج بالكريم الجديد تختلف عن نتائج العلاج بالكريم القديم كاي سكوير دائما ذو اتجاهين أو ذو ذيلين كما هو موضح من هذه العلامة التي تدل على أن الفرضية ذات ذيلين The second step is setting level of significance الخطوة الثانية هي وضع مستوى المعنوية Level of significance or alpha is a predetermined value الالفه أو مستوى المعنوية هو قيمة يتم وضعها قبل أن نبدأ في الشروع بالإجابة على السؤال The conventional levels of significance are alpha is equal to 0.05 or alpha is equal to 0.01 القيم التقليدية أو المستويات التقليدية للمعنوية الخاصة بألفا هي 5 من 100 أو 1 من 100 In this example we will consider alpha equal to 0.05 وفي هذا المثال سنعتبر ألفا تساوي 5 من 100 الخطوة الثالثة هي ذي كالك هي حساب القيمة الأحصائية To calculate the test statistic is the third step A bivariate frequency table is constructed for the observed value values as follows We have a column for the study group a total of 200 so this is the column total for the first group The second group is the control group which contained also 200 patients so the, to the column total of this group is 200 within the study group 107 were cured while within the control group 88 patients were not cured in the study group 93 were not cured and in the control group 112 were not cured we have four cells here A the study group patients who were cured B the control group patients who were cured C the study group patients who were not cured D the control group patients who were not cured the total of the first row is 107 plus 88 that's 195 this is the row total for the cured patients while the row total for the second row is 205 the number of those who were not cured